up, our daddy had a lot of different jobs. He sold paint, he sold fencing, uh, he sold hardware, he sold carpeting. And when I was in middle school, the boys were all gone by then. And so it was just my mama and my daddy and me. And my daddy had a massive heart attack. And for a long time, we thought we might lose him. He made it through, but he couldn't work for a long, long time. And I remember the day that we lost the family station wagon. I remember the night when my mother would tuck me into bed, give me a kiss, and I'd hear her close the door and start to cry. I remember lying in bed and hearing my parents talk. And I, that's when I learned words like mortgage and foreclosure. And so one day I walked into my folks' bedroom and laid out on the bed was the dress. Now, some of you in here may know the dress. It's the one that only comes out for weddings, funerals, and graduations. And there's my mother pacing. She's in her slip and her stocking feet, and she's saying, we will not lose this house. We will not lose this house. We will not lose this house. She's crying, and she looks over at me. I'm just a kid. I'm standing in the doorway. And she looks at me, and she looks at that dress. She was 50 years old. She had never worked outside the home, and she was terrified. And finally, she takes one more look at me. She dried her eyes, pulled on that dress, put on her high heels, and walked to Sears and got a minimum wage job full-time, answering phones. That minimum wage job saved our house, and more importantly, it saved our family. And for many years, I thought that is the lesson that my mama taught me. And that is, no matter how hard it looks, no matter how scared you are, when it comes down to it, you reach down deep, you find what you have to find, you pull it up, and you take care of the people you love. Understand. It wasn't just what my mama taught me. It's what millions of people across this country do every day. No matter how hard it looks, no matter how scared they are, they reach down deep, they find what they have to find, they pull it up and they take care of the people they love because that's what Americans do. to understand years later. That same story is also a story about government. Because when I was a girl, a full-time minimum wage job in America would support a family of three. It would pay a mortgage, it would cover the utilities, it would put food on the table. Today, a full-time minimum wage job in America will not keep a mama and a baby out of poverty. That is wrong, and that is why I'm here. And understand this, that change is no accident. It didn't just happen because of gravity. That change is about who Washington works for. When I was a girl, setting the minimum wage was about figuring out what it took a family of three to survive. What it took to give them a toehold in America's middle class. What it took to give them something solid that they could build from. 
Well, today, the question asked in Washington about the minimum wage is what will improve the profitability of giant multinational corporations? I don't want a government that works for giant multinational corporations. 